everybody. This is Haas. I'm uh, here today doing the budget paint job with the uh, Rust-Oleum prof Professional High Performance uh, Oil-Based Paint. Uh, I've got a pretty good deal on all the stuff that I'm working with. Uh, today we are going to be working on the 97 Dodge Dakota. It's a special truck to my wife. Uh, she really enjoyed it whenever she was growing up, uh, going through school and stuff like that. Uh, we're going to try to keep the magenta color going uh, but as far as like the rest of the truck we're going to paint it flat black and here we go we have the uh, rust oleum flat black I've got two gallons of the flat black I know I'm not going to really need that much we're going to try this out this is my first time at paint uh, we're going to try to we're going to try to see how well we can do with this we're gonna start off with the clean metal white primer and uh, then we're gonna apply the flat black to it. And afterwards, we're gonna to attempt to do some customized paint work. Uh, I went and I bought some uh, some more Rust-Oleum paint, uh, the small cans of the pints. And uh, I've got the safety red and the royal blue and uh, some white. So what I did, I mixed those together and created a close, uh, a close comparison to the magenta color that was on the truck. But uh, we'll see how it goes as we go on with the video. I've done a, quite a bit of body work. I'll let you see. Let me flip this camera around. Okay, I can't flip the camera around. I'm a moron. Uh, but as you can see, I've erased the bottom body line and patched up some dents. Um, we come over here to the side. We had to, uh, fix the bedside. It had some rust. I uh, had to create a, create a few things for it. Had a big dent in the door. Uh, somebody hit it with a trailer as they was backing around. Uh, so we had to fix that issue. Uh, right now we've got things taped up. We've got the truck sanded down. Uh, we had another bad side that we had to, we had to work with too. Uh, also I upgraded my air system. I'm using a very small air compressor. I've got a cobalt eight gallon, uh, air compressor. It's got the 1.8 horsepower motor on it, which is producing four CFMs at 90 PSI, which is not bad. I mean, I, 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 we'll see how it goes. Um, one of my friends gave me a very large uh, oxygen acetylene tank uh, that he had acquired. And what I did, I created this valve setup and uh, used it as extra air storage so we can uh, have more air to paint with. Then I went to Harbor Freight and bought this system right here which is a regulator with a with a dryer. Uh, I've got a, another filter and another filter and then a, a little air chuck. Uh, we're gonna try this out, see how it goes. I am gonna be using the Harbor Freight Special. The, uh, I know you're already looking at me like, oh God, he's gonna paint with Harbor Freight stuff. Well, I'm gonna tell you like this. I'm a I'm budget painter. I'm trying this out, so don't hate me. Uh, we've got the 1.4 tip on this uh, Harbor Freight HVLP gun. We've got, already put a regulator on it so we control our air pressure coming out. And uh, I also have another Harbor Freight gun that I bought so I could do my primer. We all know that the primer's a lot thicker. So what I did was was I upgraded this gun. It was just a $10 gun. I upgraded it and I drilled out the tip so it's not 1.4 anymore. I used a 564 drill bit and drilled it out and now it's a 2.0 tip. Uh, so this should spray our primer real good. But we'll get into that as we go. Uh, like I said, this is a budget job. We're gonna try to see what we can do here. 
Uh, I've got to buy a new grill because I broke the clips on that thing when I took it off. Uh, so that's just a reminder when you work on these dodges and they've got some age to them, watch the, watch the plastic uh, bolts and stuff like that because they will break. I'm just telling you right now, it's, it's just going to happen. Uh, but we'll see how it goes and I'll add some more to this video later on. Thank you. Well, I went out there and I pressure washed the truck to get all the other contaminants off of it. I used a uh, Dawn dishwashing liquid to make sure I cut off all the grease and any kind of other uh, particulate. I used my son Joe pressure washer to go ahead and get it all washed down real good. As you can see, everything's looking good. I uh, got the bed finally cleaned out. Now I've got to take the bed off and get ready to move it back so I can finish up the rest of the cab and then I'll probably have to wash it again. Probably this time I'll just do a hand wash and uh, we'll go from there. Well, I laid down two coats of primer today. Uh, we went ahead and did two coats. Uh, got everything done, door jams. The only thing I didn't do was the inside of the bed yet. I'm going to do that another day. I was kind of running out of time. But uh, here's the result. So far, no orange peel. I did get my hose in a couple spots that I'm gonna touch up. But uh, other than that, pretty satisfied. Got my guns cleaned up, getting ready to close up shop and go to bed and go to work the next day and take a few days and then probably hit it again. Thank you. all See. You. Hey everybody. It's Haas. Uh, I'm going to start painting on the 97 Dodge Dakota right now. Uh, mix some paint up. Uh, I'm going to be using a four to one mixture. Uh, I'm also going to be adding Japan dryer. I've got my stripes laid out. Uh, so Getting ready to lay some flat black. Take them back in. Well, yeah. I just got through laying the first coat down. As you can see, that's what I got done so far. I'm doing the bed later. Uh, I don't know if I might run online either, I'm thinking. But uh, I'll let you know more. Hey, everybody. Toss again. Uh, just finished up working on the 97 Dodge Dakota. Uh, I'll go ahead and I'll give you a view of it and everything, and it ain't too bad. I mean, I'm I'm satisfied. I got to do a little wet sanding, but uh, finish it up. But here's what I've got going so far. Uh, taking mine, the bed. I'm going to put a bed tarp on it, and I really didn't want to have to paint the inside of the bed, so. That's the reason why it ain't painted. But the uh, stripes that's on it right now, you can still see a little bit of white from the primer. Uh, I'm going to take pin striping and go down that with uh, some color. I went ahead and murdered out the wheels. Uh, I don't know if it'll stay on there. I don't really care. But it's looking pretty good. Got my stripes up top stripes on the hood got to buy a new grill where i broke that one but uh all in all rust-oleum paint can't fucking beat it <laughs>